everybody, welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, I'm Emily. I love macrame, thrifting, and a good DIY project. Today I'm making a no-sew macrame pillow cover. I recently watched a tutorial by a girl. Her YouTube is XO McKenna, if I'm saying that right. I thought it was genius. She did this macrame pillow cover that was no sew and I was in awe. So I'm definitely going to link her video down below. You guys go watch her video. She, she does it better. I took the basic ideas behind her no sew pillow and used them to create my own. So hopefully you guys will be inspired by mine as well. But again, check out her video. If you guys aren't already, feel free to follow me on Instagram at emilyfaith22. If this is your first time making macrame, be sure to check out my three basic macrame knot tutorial. That's gonna give you guys the basics. That way you'll know exactly what knots I'm using and be able to make your very own pillow cover. Okay, let's not waste any more time and let's jump right on into this tutorial. For supplies, you're going to need macrame cord. I got this off of Amazon. I will link it in the description box below. You're going to need a pair of scissors and a pillowcase. This is one I've had for quite a few years. It has a stain on it, so I thought it'd be perfect to make a macrame pillow out of. I realized you guys might have different size pillow covers than me, so I wanted to tell you that the way I measure my macrame cord is that I try and make it about six times longer than the length of the pillow. I actually do this for everything that I make. I figure out what length I want and then I make it like six times that length. My pillow is just over 15 inches on either side and I ended up cutting 16 cords and they were all about four and a half feet long. Now I'm using this measuring tape to have a general idea of distance between my cords and I marked with a little pencil about every inch since my pillow is almost 16 inches. Then at every spot that I marked I cut a little slit through both sides of the pillowcase. Next, you're gonna fold your macrame cord directly in half and push the folded half through from the back to the front, through the little hole, and then loop the strings through. And you're going to do this 16 times for each of them. Once you get a hang of it, it's really not that hard. I did kind of have to like situate the position but it actually worked really, really well. I did sketch out a simple design just to give myself a rough idea of what I was going to be making, and it gives me something to work off of. Now that we have all of our cords attached, we're going to cut an extra piece of macrame cord just longer than the length of the pillow, and we're going to start by tying a full row of your double half hitch Again, this is where you'll definitely want to have watched my three basic macrame knot tutorial. It's going to give you an up close look at how to tie a double half hitch knot. And then you guys won't have any issues creating this pillow cover. You'll probably have some extra cord hanging on the ends on both sides. You may even want to make the strings a little longer. It was a little hard to do this next part, but basically just tie a nice tight knot, then use your scissors to trim off the excess and it kind of has a nice little boho fringe look. For this next step, we work in our groups of four and we're going to tie a row of our square knot. The square knot is the most basic macrame knot. It's the first one I ever learned. It's really easy. To start your second row, you take two cords from either square knot and combine them together and make a new square knot. We're actually going to create five rows in total of square knots. Here 
Here are my completed five rows of square knots. Now, just like we did at the top, I cut a piece of extra macrame cord. We're doing a full line of our double half hitch, creating a line all the way across the bottom of that row of square knots. I've now separated my cords into four groups of eight, and we're going to make some diamond shapes. I have done these shapes in other videos, so if you're familiar with this, you shouldn't have any problems, but if it's your first time, I will walk you through it. You're gonna take the two middle cords and tie them together using your double half hitch knot. Now you take those two cords and we're going to place them diagonally and create two diagonal lines, still using our double half hitch to begin this diamond shape. One thing I found a little bit trickier for me with this project is that I'm very used to working from like a clothing rack or something like that. So when I pull, it doesn't scoot forward, but because of how I was making this one, I had to kind of pull very gently, which I found a little tricky. Then you take the cord on the other side that we had originally tied and do the same thing going down the other way. I decided to make this diamond like two lines thick. So find those two middle cords and this time we're not tying those in the center together. We're just going to simply create the diagonal line since they're already connected technically at the top with the first line. So I simply just found the two middle cords and created another line right underneath the one we just created on either side. Now we're going to take our four center cords and tie your basic square knot. Now we're going to finish out that diamond shape. So take those two cords that were on the end that you were previously using and we're going to work our way back to the center. We are not going to connect the center ones again, just kind of like mimicking the top. So work on either side till you meet in the middle, but don't tie the middle yet. <laughs> yeah. To finish off this diamond pattern, work again with your far right and left cord and work your way right against that last line you just created to the middle where you will connect them. Also, I apologize for this like very chill voiceover as I'm listening back. I am 38 weeks pregnant laying in bed and I guess I'm just <laughs> relaxed, which is good. Now you're going to need to repeat this diamond pattern three more times along the pillow. I didn't film this next part because it felt a little redundant, but I basically repeated the exact same process we did at the top. I did a row of your double half hitch, the five rows of square knots, and then another row of your double half hitch. Now we're going to measure and mark those same 16 points like we did at the top. Only this time when you cut them, don't cut through to the back, just cut through the single layer on the front. I flipped my pillow over to the back side, unzipped it, and you can see the little slits. So what we're gonna do is pull two cords through each slit, just like at the top, only this time they're technically separate because they're not folded in half as nicely. So you have to wiggle them through, but for each one you pull two cords through. And then what you're gonna do is tie the cords from the opposite holes 
together or from the hole next to it, I guess. That way it won't fray or come out and it's nice and tight. Once you've pushed all the cords through and tied them together, just use some scissors and snip off any extra cord. And this is how it turned out. Some of my cords were very, very short. So I was happy that I was able to get everything through. Then I flipped my pillow back around and we're gonna fill it up. Here is how the pillow turned out. I am so happy with how it turned out. You know, it's not perfect, I will say that. But for something that was very affordable, I used a very small portion of my macrame cord. I still have that whole bundle left. That was an old pillowcase that I had that I think was like $5 back in the day. So to kind of have this very affordable, simple, no-sew macrame DIY pillow cover, I'm really happy with how it turned out. I think if I ever made one again, I could learn and just do it better <laughs> but for my very first time making this i'm very pleased with it i hope it inspires you to make your own macrame pillow cover if you liked this video feel free to give it a thumbs up as always you guys can subscribe for more of my everyday life feel free to follow me on instagram at emilyfaith22 i hope you guys have a great day and i will see you next time